like going hunting Just me, my hound, and my gun Chasing them deer, rabbit, and squirrel Now that's my kind of fun I like going fishing too I'll go on any whim Looking for the big bass The poppy and the brim Just give me a wide open field To walk through Give me an ocean so deep I want to ride the longest river in the world Or maybe climb the highest mountain peak Like going down to the fishing hole My buddies and me and my old cane pole Bake them hooks and wet them lines It's the life I love so fine It's almost supper time You'd think the world was mine And now for today's outdoor adventure, here's Archie Phillips. Hi, folks. We're down in a Isla Lamorada. Isla Morada. <laughs> Isla Morada <laughs> Key down here in Florida. This is Joe Mason. And Joe, who's the folks we got with us here on this well, trip? Well, we've got Anita Haddad, and uh, we've got Steve Dunkert, and we've got Linda Dunkert. And, uh, and 10 mile, 10 knot winds out here. And 10 knot winds, that's right. All right, and, and who's our captain in our deck can now? Well, our captain is Carrie Price, and we're aboard the Heidi Baby and uh, deck hand Scotty. Okay, we'll, we'll talk to those folks in a little while now. What are we fixing to do? Well, right now we're fixing to catch some bait in preparation for uh, fishing an area known as the hump. And uh, we're going to be casting to the bottom to try and catch some grunts so we can use them as live bait for deep jigging. Okay, yeah. and then, then we're going to use these bait and we're going, out, we're going to kind of be bottom fishing, aren't we, Nita? That's, That's right. right. That's okay, right. good deal. Now, this gal right here, we'll, we'll tell you a little more about it later, but she is a champion. I think you told me you caught 24 sailfish in one day and yes. turned them loose. That's right. They're and all she's won, she's won more trophies than most men ever thought about doing. So this gal right here is a champion fisherman. And, we're fixing to get out here and get with the program. So let's catch up some of them grunts. are going to be about that big, aren't they? Yeah, a little bigger. Right bigger about that big. Okay, and what are we going to be fishing for on the hump? We're going to be fishing for amberjack. Amber big ones, you said. Big ones, sir. All right, that's why I want to break my arm out there. That's it. We're going to try it. <laughs> All right, let's catch us some grunts. All right. Now, Joe, what have we got going on right here? Well, what we've got down on the boat looks like a bunch of what we call speedos. 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 These are real good uh, bait for. Um, they look sort of like a blue runner, don't they? Yeah, they look well a little bit more pointy. When when you see them, when we bring one up, you're going to see them. Yeah, now I think you're about to see a. Oh, another right, blue runner. Another hard tail. Another blue runner. Yep. Uh, this particular uh, fish don't line. grow to be real big. I would say. You ever seen Scott one over four pound? I had neither. About two would be, be what we call a pretty good one. Okay. That's looking so I'd good, say, though. I'd say about five more minutes, and we're uh, we're going to head on out to the hump there. That's great. Now, this thing you call a hump, what what kind of deal is that? All right. Well, let me see what if I can explain this. So we have a place in, in Alamrata, and it's called the Hump. It's a world famous. You know, everybody comes from all over the world and wants to fish here. And it's uh, 12 and a half miles offshore, straight out this way. Okay? And it's in 500 feet of water. My goodness. You can't see land. You think you're out in the middle of nowhere. And if you could kind of picture a condominium sitting in the middle of a desert, that's exactly what it is. It's a great big rock pile. They still haven't figured out how it got there or what it's doing there. But it's just a great place for fish. There's sharks there. There's mako sharks, hammerhead sharks. There's wahoo tuna fish. And then, of course, what we're going to try for a few this morning, we're going to try for some great big amberjack. Wow. That's, some... that's Boy, look nice at that big one he got right there. Hey, see, there's a nice one. See that? That's a speed up. Yep. Hit the bottom. Hit it hard. Hit it. Okay. Well, you done already got one on already, Joe. My goodness. It didn't even hit the bottom, did it, Joe? No, sir. But he got it going down, didn't he? Yeah, okay. Whoa. He hold up. Right over to the right, Joe. Let's see if we can get a double here. All right. There you go. Hit him, Nita. There we go. 
Oh, Whoa, yes. boy, she got a good one. She got a good one. All and right. That rig, that rig you All got. Right, time to work. Two on and one trip. There you go, okay. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. All right, Anita, while you're huffing and puffing, you got a special rig that hangs down nearly to your knees. Right. And it's strapped across your back here to give you back support, right? That's correct. So you got a be you got a better control over it, Yes, sir. Yes. A little more. Nice now we let it see where he's running. We'll let him run. Okay. We won't horse this fish up. What we want to do is do short strokes when he. Short stroke on him. Linda, you still with the program over here? I'm still with the program. How far are you from the end of the program? Well, I'm a little closer than I was when I started. That's about it. <laughs> Boy, they like these live baits you had here, okay? Well, you know, Archie, when I was telling you earlier about this spot out here, it was a pretty good spot, you know what I mean? Right. You know, we got two big fish right now. I'm going to just make a guesstimation here, Archie. Okay. I said we got a pair of 50-pounders on right now. I say 50-pound fish. Nita, what happened to your fish? Well, I got cut off or hit by a shark. We'll you, find out as soon as I get it out. You think you don't have half a fish? No, I don't have a half a fish. You don't have half a fish? I'll square you off, okay? Go. Well, you right, got so it. What happened to it? Pull the hook. Pull the hook. Pull the hook. Out of his mouth. Oh my goodness gracious. When he gets close, to back the... up with me, Joe, okay? I got my best mate on the gas down there for you, Scotty. He never misses it. Okay, back up, back up, go. back he up. Yeah, daddy, yeah. Woo! Yay, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Holy mackerel good. Joe, that's a great, nice fish. Great, Come on, great, Joe. You, you done right good on that one. Man, that's a monster. Look at that thing. Holy mackerel. Steve, I got a camera in Super. my back. Super. Joe, you all right? <laughs> I've done this before, Captain. Yeah. I know what it feels like. Hey, you got a jig on, Linda? Yes, I do. I see. Harry, I got it out down to 100,000 feet right, here. Back. <laughs> now, we're doing two systems here, live bait and jigging, right? That's correct. Both of them are effective for amberjacks. Correct. Get him, baby. Yeah, let me oh. oh, look at him. Two on, two on. Woo, look at that. Okay. That's a horse right run. there, ain't it, gal? Let him run. Let him wear himself out. Now you just letting him, you just letting him do his thing, right? Right. That's right. not what I had. Listen up, okay. girls. Anita, I want you over to the left. I want to split the two fish apart as far as possible for the time being. Okay. Well done, baby. There we go. Three on. Three on. Thanks, run. Thank you, Carrie. You still got your Steve? Yep. All right, let me see here. <laughs> Well, we got gotcha. all kinds of folks loaded up here now. now. You just stay put right there. I'm going to fix you up. All right, here we go. Come down. All right, let me assess this here, gang. All right, give me, give me an assessment of how we're going to put all three of these in at the same time now. Well, I'm not so sure. Because neither, she's, she's all bowled up. Right she's pretty good sized fish on there. All right. Scotty, both in reverse a second, please. Come on right there. Mine's just pulling out line carry, so I'm fine. Put them both reverse, Scotty. Okay. All right, I got you fixed up right there. Okay, thank you. Woo, Nita. You got him coming this way now. He's coming. I can bet on Bit your fish? He's got a double hook over, Nita. Or shark bite. Hold on here. I got you. You run into me if you start this way now. These things will slide you all over the back of the boat, don't they? Oh, you gaining on him. Now, now uh, Kerry said decide. to bring that rod tip run. all the way up. That'll give you extra foot. Is that what he's talking about? Take, yeah. a little, take a little break in the middle there. Okay? See, that way, that way the line will get some of the stretch out of it. I see. You got him coming back this way now? I got him coming up. 
Well, if you do short strokes, you keep his head up and okay. still let him go down. Then you walk over to the right, honey. Now, if we can, if we get lucky, we can split oh, these right. fish apart. I'm going to try to, I might have to put the line on you. You're going to need it. Okay. Oh, there's our fish. Explain to you how we going to gaff this thing then. No, no, we, you're going to gaff him. I'm going to help you. Hold All right. on. All right. All right, stick this right across his back. Okay, and give him a little poke. Okay, now hand over hand, straight hand up. Over hand, hand like over this. hand, straight up. Perfect, sure. perfect, Archie. Look at that big devil. Woo! Right. Woo! How about that, huh? Is that beautiful? That is excellent. Linda, I'd say this is about a 30, 35 pounder. Beautiful. Caught that in your hook. You spin. just barely did have that. Look at that. That's why I can't. Woo! Woo! That's that's look, you, you ain't got, got a line eighth of an inch right there. Archie, what do you say we take that jig out and show the camera what you caught that on an artificial bait, these things out look here? Look at that right there. Loop it right around this you way. almost lost him, Linda. That's you pretty pull that line all the way to right there. You know, if those things weren't so heavy, I'd make a pair of earrings out of those for her. There for you go. But they're a little heavy. All right. Know? All right, let's see that. <laughs> let's see this lady deckhand get that fish. Coming in, coming in. Now, you, you paid attention how he told me to do it, didn't you? Go on the rock, go on the rock, go on the rock. All right, over top of the shot, hon. Hold on, stop, stop right there. Reach out over the fish. Put it, you got him? You lift him in like that? Sure you can. Hand over hand, hand over hand. Hand over hand. Hey, great, 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 I'm not going to get everybody involved in this. Well, well it's, it's a nice a family affair. It certainly is. Woo! Ooh, look at that big old fish. I'm going to tell you something now. Uh, that, give me a weight estimate. That's yeah. about 40 pounds, and I'm going to tell you what, that's probably going to be one of the catches of days because that's Linda. a 15-pound test. 15-pound pound test. 15. Would you, Steve, that is outstanding. I don't see how you brought one in that big on that light line. Boy, that is fine. That is fine. Hold it up, Steve. Come on. Give me a smile, Steve. This is the wrong way, Steve. <laughs> Joe wants you to get a picture of All right, Kerry, you're doing something special. That bait, what is that? Well, Arch, this time we're going to go with the double hook rig, hook through the lips. We're okay. We're going to make about a 300 foot drop here on this nice, light 30 pound. All right, now what, what are you doing it? to his tail back here? Well, uh, what I'm doing to his tail is I'm cutting his tail off so he doesn't swim quite so much. This is a real frisky bait. It's just a little trick, maybe make the hook up a little quicker, okay? Okay. Boy, Nita, hammer that thing about four times. You got to hit him hard, hadn't you, honey? Yeah, just a little bit. There you go. And then make sure you're stuck good. Is that what you're doing, driving that hook home? That's what I'm doing. Well, you got a hook up now. Oh, that's outstanding. Woo! He's heading south that time. I like this deal that you got your. Uh, you hook up into the into the reel with your back hook up, right? That Correct. takes puts that stretch back here on your back, doesn't it? Right. Boy, that's a neat way to do it right there. Now you're going to be jigging. This looks like a live bait drift here. They they like the live bait on this one. Let's okay. That's it. That's <laughs> it. He's coming up. That need is tough. Oh! oh! Did you break off? Yep. Yeah, he's oh, gone. no, no, no. Oh, no. We don't want that's that. That's terrible. Oh, goodness gracious. That's one of the hazards of lighter line, though, isn't it? Just, you know, you got to take... Well, that's one of the points. You really, you know, it's, it's hard to bring them up. Now, what you got, Steve? Wait a minute. All right, we're going to try a different kind of rig, rig now. That looks like a big bass worm there to me. That's a glow worm. Does that work good? Well, when you're down 250 feet, it's dark down there. I see. So we're going to bring some light to the fish down below. Now, are you going to put... i my hook out a little bit because it's got spin. All right. Are you going to put a glow worm on there? Put a glow worm on there. Huh? You rig it up like an old bass worm, don't you? like a bass worm. He's good too here, Kay. Oh, that's an outstanding looking bait there. A different line we're trying there, Kevin. Yeah. I got you. I want you to put me about an 80 pound test on there if it's all right with you, Kevin. Well, Kev, I just happened to fill up right over here. That's fine. I, 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 I really, I really, I love light line on brims and croppers. <laughs> you want to, you want to. But if I'm out here going to fish for these giants. You want to see what you make Our plow line would work just as good yeah. as far as I'm concerned. All right, well, then I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I just happen to have another rod over here. To all see right. What, see, what, this. see what we're made of here. All right. Yeah, try me on one of your one of your more max. It's gonna be fun. We'll let Nita catch him on 12 pound her and Steve. 
That's what I catch bass on is 12 pound test. <laughs> Uh, Steve's got a hook up. Yeah, yeah. On that light tackle. Coming up. It's right behind the boat. Joe, why don't you get a gaff for me, buddy, and gaff this fish? Yeah, Joe, you beat a you beat a deck can this time now. Woo, there he. There he is. Woo, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Yeah. Coming at you. Back her up, yeah. guy. Here we go. Yeah, right now. Right now. Right now. All right, now, Joe's oh, going to be the gap. Yeah, hand over hand. That's it, Joe. Use the with the point on it. Stick him. <laughs> right on his back. Right on his back. See, I could do all this. It's just lay the gap across and stick it. Stick it. The there you go. Where's this gap from? Uh, Not good. Who taught him how to gap? Joe, reach over there. Yeah. Be careful. Yes, reach sir. Reach over top of the fish. Right? Over top of them, down below, and then come up and give them a sharp hook. Right there you go. Now hand over hand. You see, I'm teaching them everything. Well, we got today. we got to train everybody. Whoa! Woo! Woo! Now, Woo! A pretty sight here. Woo! Woo! Nita, you done hooked up good, hadn't you? One more time, see if you I can get away up from up those sharks. Now, Nita, I'm hoping the shark don't do you in this time. That's terrible. You've had two real nice fish on. And then old sharks took it away from you. Right. Oh, oh, we got business right now. I see the fish. I see the fish right down in the. Look like it's about 30 feet down. Look, what I want Let me you go to do this time, bit. Arch. Okay. I want you to reach right out over that fish, over his back, and then poke him, and then hand over hand. I'm gonna okay. see what you learn here. Now. Okay. Still green. He's, he's still green. Right, that's 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 fisherman talk for. He's got a lot of life left in him, right? Yeah, that's for sure. All right, okay, here we I'm go. gonna back up now. All right, easy does it. Hold on, I'll pull back. over the leader here. Hold on. I'll get you a nice shot. There's just one of the biggest ones of the day. Okay, now Archie, hold the sink down like so. Right there. Hand over hand. Hand over hand. Here we go. Here comes the biggest yeah. fish of the day. Yeah. The moose. Yeah. The moose. Yeah. There's the moose. Yeah. Look at him. Yeah. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nita, I'm proud to gaff a fish like that for you, honey. Woo Look at that big devil. Didn't, Didn't I tell it? you he was going to be the biggest one? Man, that's all I could do to get him on the rail, huh? That's right. Did I tell you he was going to be the biggest one? You didn't have to lift it up, Archie. Woo! Lord, all right, come here. See, we saw him coming on that tackle. Look at that. She's got the biggest one of the day. I'll tell you what, right now, I'm looking at my fish finder right now, Archie, and I'm just coming up on the top of this mountain, the hump here. And I'll tell you what, this is about the most amount of fish I've ever seen marked on the side. It's got to be billions of pounds of fish. Real, 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 real. There he is. Hit him again. Okay, now easy, easy now. Real down, real down. Now lift. Well, that's what you were. Yeah, that's you know, good. That's, beautiful. that's good. All right, let's see what you made out of, Art. All right. Put it on him. Yeah. Hold on tight, Archie. You only got another 300 yeah. yards to go. Yeah, I remember how much line was on here when I was That's looking right. at it. Here we go. Right. We've got some color he's showing. He's coming up. That's fancy. Up That's, a real a, good That's a South Florida word for we see the fish. That's Y'all, right. look out. Hey, uh, hey Joe, you going to gap this fish for me? Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Kelly. Wait a minute now. Now, it's all right for you to have trainees and train this group on this boat on gaffing, but I want, I want you to gaff my fish. <laughs> You want me to gaff your I fish? I want you to gaff my fish. I don't want none of your trainees gaffing my fish. Well, now you're putting a lot of pressure on me now, Archie. What if I mess up? Joe didn't well, mess up on the other Well, trainees. I know, but I'll, I'll take a chance on your experience. All right, here we go. I'll All right. Your here. All right, let me get him on in here. Woo! Look at that big old fish. What a fish. Woo wee! That's experience right there. Oh, right? boy. The look at that big old devil. Woo! Look at that thing! Notice how when I gap him, I just bring him right up for the shot. Oh about man, that is. How about that? All right, what'll Latin go now? Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds. Where are you holding? You tell me. All right, let me put my rod down. I can't hold a fish in a rod. How much does that fish weigh? Fish weigh fifty pounds. <laughs> just like I said. That's what I thought. Fine fish. All right. A little higher, Archie. Up. Yeah. Check. Come on, let's hold him up one time, Archie. One that? time. That is a fine amberjack. Look at the mouth on this thing, up. Boy, I tell you, they got you no can drop teeth. a. I know but you they got, but they got, they guess it's just like about 50 grade sandpaper, and I see as he's trying to bite me. Why, well, thing could swallow a gaff hook. 
Well, folks, we had a super trip. Everybody have a good time? Had a wonderful time. Everybody had a wonderful time. time. I was out there with some real pro fishing. This gal right here, she knows her stuff, Joe. You used to tell me what she knew about it, and we got out there and did it. Linda, she wasn't no slouch out there with that jig and Captain, Captain Carey there. I, I never, I've heard about this place called The Hump, and I didn't know what they was talking about, but it is a show enough a hump out there, isn't it? It certainly is. Certainly and is, apparently right. everybody out there enjoys it. And Scott, we appreciate you doing us a jam up good job out there keeping the boat fixed so we could fish. Now, we don't appreciate you dropping our amberjack in, <laughs> in the lake there just a while ago. And, and Steve was, was a great sportsman out there with really light, light tackle. I, I, I never seen an amberjack like that caught on 12-pound test, but yeah. you folks can do it all the way from light to my heavy-duty one. And, of course, I'll stick with the big guns out there where you carry. And, There's a lot of ways to do it out there, Archie. And any folks that want a good trip coming off down here in Isla La Mara, tell me how to say it. Isla 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 Marotta. Isla Marotta and the Florida Keys, and with Captain Kerry down there aboard the Heidi Baby. Come on down here and give these folks a try. They do a super job. Y'all folks stay tuned again next week for some more outdoors with Archie Phillips.